we're making some dinner. This is gonna be a really quick and easy dinner with some leftover grilled chicken that I made extra of on purpose. And tonight we're making a blooming chicken quesadilla. So let's go ahead and make it. Okay, so here in this bowl, I have my chicken breast cut up into little teeny cubes and then I tried to shred it down. And then I've got some little teeny wraps an onion, a full uh, pepper, a red, a full red pepper, half an onion, and then a bunch of cheese shredded up. And then here, uh, I wanted um, fajita seasoning, but obviously I don't have that, so I'm gonna just use a little bit of taco, and let's put it together. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the filling together. So I've got my bowl of chicken here, so what I'm gonna do is basically to this chicken, I'm gonna add all of the onions and peppers, um, about three quarter or th yeah, three quarters of the cheese, and then about a third of this seasoning. We're gonna mix it up and that's the filling, and then we're gonna start putting it into uh, the tortilla wraps and rolling them up and starting the onion, or the blooming whatever, the blooming, to um, Quesadilla. <laughs> I was thinking of a blooming onion, but anyways, we'll start doing that. So let's make the filling and then I will show you how to do the wrap. All right, so this is what it looks like all mixed together. So this is our filling. Now what we're going to do is we'll push the filling aside and we're going to take some of these wraps out and I will show you right here first what we're gonna do, and then we'll start making a whole bunch of them and placing them into the bloom. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so what I did was I took a, a stone, or if you have a circle pan, or even if you have a cookie sheet, and put a parchment paper on it, and just if you have a small dish, put it in the center, and this is where we're going to place all of these around. Um, so get that ready, uh, preheat your oven to 350 while we're doing this, and then we're gonna go ahead and do this. So you're gonna take a tortilla, and you're simply just going to put the mix on it like this, nothing like super crazy, <laughs> because it will come out of the edges if you, if you put too much. And then you're just going to wrap it up. And then you're going to cut it in half. And then you can see there. And then you're simply just gonna place it with the uh, folded side down, just like that. And we're gonna keep doing them and putting them all the way around and then when the, this layer is full, we're gonna do another one on top, another one on top, as many as we want until this is gone or as many as we want. And then you can sprinkle some cheese like this on top of the layers. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do that and then we will be ready to put it in the oven. Okay, so there we go. That's exactly how you do it. You just keep going round and round and round, piling them up. You can see the insides of them there. They look so good. And now we're just gonna pop them in the oven on 350 for probably about 20 minutes, see what they look like, and just keep an eye on them. If they start browning, um, then you're probably pretty good to take them out because the chicken is cooked um, and the peppers, uh, if you like them really mushy, you can cook them a little bit before. I like my pepper a little bit crunchy still when I eat it, but whatever you prefer. But yeah, let's put them in the oven and I'll show you what they look like once they've got cooked. 
there we go. Put it in the oven. Put it in for about 20 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like. If it's more uh, in less time, Lauren, can you please get down? If it's in less time, then I'll show you. Okay, and they are done. So I'm gonna take them out and we'll have a look. All right, so there they are. Super easy, probably the quickest and easiest dinner. If you literally have some peppers in the fridge, an onion, um, anything else you really wanna add into them. Uh, and then literally if you just have some leftover chicken or if you're making chicken one night uh, throughout the week and you want to make just an extra breast or two depending how big your family is to have leftover to make this meal for the next night such a quick and simple really good meal for the family so now I'm going to take this dish out um, and then you can put salsa in there and then I also serve mine with um, some salsa or sorry some salsa and I also serve mine with some sour cream but I was going to show you this one um, my husband found this at the grocery store and it's restaurant style and it's really really good it's um, more fine it's not as chunky I find so it's really good anyways there you go that is how you make a blooming quesadilla really quick and easy try it for yourself and like I said, I had to use taco seasoning because I didn't have chicken fajita uh, seasoning. So try and have uh, use that in the recipe. And just kind of throw anything together that you would normally have on a fajita or a taco and roll it up and serve it like this and try it out for yourself and your family and see how you guys like it. And uh, drop it in the comments. <laughs> Drop it in the comments and then share it along to a mom or a dad who you think would like this um, and to make it for the week. And uh, like this video, subscribe, ring that bell so you never miss one. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. I lied. I'm back. <laughs> I thought I'll show you how easy it is to pull it apart because my husband's leaving for midnight and he's going to take his with him. So you literally will just grab one of the rolls wherever and pull it and there you go where's the camera right there oh that one's unrolling a bit and you're just gonna pull it apart and put them on your plate however you want them and serve them with whatever you want